He was a photojournalist, an artist, and an educator, Micha Kirchner. And now, he's the subject of a new retrospective show at the Vito Academy of Design in Haifa. Called I Spoke the Truth, the show looks back at the life of one of Israel's most influential photographers. Micha. Micha had a sharp eye. He captured the person in front of him in a very special way. He was a photographer who would look at a person and understand them. Born in Italy in 1947, Kirchner and his family immigrated to Israel when he was still an infant. He became known for his striking pictures, published in many of the country's leading newspapers. Over the years, he captured some of Israel's most familiar faces, from politicians to artists. But Kirchner's portraits were not without controversy. The pictures you see behind me are probably the ones most identified with Micha. They're from a project called People of the Revolt. He hired a researcher, got into his car, and went to Palestinian refugee camps, looking for Palestinians who were wounded by the Israeli army. I don't think any newspaper today would publish such images. I can't imagine a paper daring enough to show the pain of the other side in such a manner. This approach to photography was no accident. In an interview with I-24 News in 2014, Kirshner said he believed art should be jarring. Uh, art should not be a pleasant thing. You know, you can enjoy yourself while you look at a photograph or a painting on Horus. This is one option. Yeah. The other option is, you know, show, show it, show it as it is. Yet his work was not limited to politics. He also explored gender roles and sexuality, sometimes dressing as a woman for self-portraits. And he taught generations of photographers at the Vito Academy. But last September, Kirchner passed away suddenly at the age of 70. It was a really big shock for everyone here at the Institute. Last July we sat together. He had returned from Berlin feeling unwell. He said it was a lung infection, but three weeks later it turned out he was really ill and had lung cancer. It was truly a shock. We're all a big family here at the Institute, and Micha was like the father of that family. Uh, Maya Margi joins us in the studio, and Maya, I know Micha Kirshner more from his journalistic work. His artistic work is quite different, much more so than, for example, the late David Rubiger, who I had the pleasure to work with. How does the show bridge between his journalistic work and that, I would say, most experimental uh, ph photographic work he did? Yeah, so the whole goal of the show, as the curator told me, was to create this kind of bridge between his photojournalistic work and his more artistic work, and to show how they are connected. So there are certain recurring themes that kind of go from the arts to the photojournalism. Uh, basically, Micha Kirshner was very interested in showing how photojournalism is never really transparent, how everything is framed. For him, photography was very manipulative, and even those photojournalistic works, those were all taken in a studio, in a specific studio that he had set up. Uh, if you notice the one with the woman, uh, the Palestinian woman holding the child, it's very much an homage to art history and an art sure, historical Madonna reference. And child. Exactly. So everything is set up, and this is what he was trying to show. And in a way, he kind of revolutionized photography by creating this opinion or editorial kind of photojournalistic work that hadn't been seen in Israel before. Which is undoubtedly what made him so influential. Right. This is part of the thing. He, he led a revolution basically in Israel. He was one of the first people to introduce photography to so many people. He was a professor, so he also educated the younger generations in photography. And he was the one who really told photographers that they have to have a political or social stance in their works. They can't just take a nice picture and hope for the best. And that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to show things as they are.